my name is Trader, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a small Roman temple in Minecraft. Let's get started. So first let's uh, take a tour of the small temple you're going to be constructing today. You can see we have a temple on a large podium. And we have a, a Roman soldier statue standing guard out front. And we have various tiers of foliage and trees around here. All arranged and everything to accentuate the temple on the top. And let's land and go up the stairs. Past our statue, we have a couple of levels of stairs. And we have our temple here framed on either side by the trees and the lit stone braziers. And we will go inside through our door in here. And we have a reasonable amount of space in here if you want something for a starter base. I think this is about as much space as you could hope for. And as you can see here, the ceiling is a nice Roman barrel vault structure. And we have some diorite details around here as well for pilasters on the sides of the walls. Not too shabby. So let's leave and take a look at what the bill of materials is going to be for this construction. So the first thing you will need to do is collect 2,776 blocks of cobble, 1,062 stone bricks, 721 blocks of diorite, 617 cobblestone stairs, 276 stone brick stairs, 51 chiseled stone bricks, 125 red nether bricks, 37 blocks of black stone, 18 black stone stairs, 148 black stone slabs, 11 smooth stone slabs, 11 cobblestone slabs, 42 stone brick slabs, 18 cobblestone walls, 120 oak tree trunks, 394 shrub leaves for the shrubberies down there at the bottom. You can pick whichever type of leaf you want for that. 916 tree leaf blocks for the trees we're going to be building around the structure. 724 blocks of dirt or grass. Two campfires. I presume if you're going to be building this in survival, you, would, you don't want burning netherrack that close to your trees. 21 torches, one block of glowstone, and one door. So with those materials collected, let's take a look at what the basis for the structure is going to be. Now, this structure is symmetrical around a center line. And I've drawn the center line in red right here so you can see it. Meaning that along this line, if you do something like this on this side, you want to do the mirror of that thing on the other side over here. And also for this, I assume you're going to want to leave the base of the podium for the temple hollow. So I have made that all granite here to show you that, but if you do want to fill it in for some reason, you will need about 11,000 or so blocks of uh, filler material for that. Now, for the base of the podium for the temple, it is going to be 35 blocks wide that way, 50 blocks long back this way, and the temple in total from the bottom to the top is 30 blocks tall. So let's go around here and see what you need to do. You pretty much can lay these dimensions out, 35 by 50 out of cobble. And then on top of that, you want to put a layer of stone bricks. And you want to do this all the way around the podium. There's nothing special around the back here for the first couple of phases. The only detail we need to worry about is at the front around here with these stairs. So you can see from your center line, you can measure out two blocks, and then you want to make a run of cobblestone stairs. And you want to do this for seven blocks. And you want to put more stairs directly behind it. As you see done here. So I want to give you a good overhead view of what we've got going on here. 
Take your time, get all the dimensions and measurements correct. And then we will move on to the next phase over here. Now it's at this point I will describe to you, as you can see, we started with two blocks, but each phase I'm going to show you from here on out is going to be two blocks taller than the previous phase. And this should help you with the construction of everything. So once you've got that done, you can see you want to raise your stairs up another block. Then we have a two block landing of cobblestone. And then some more stairs back here. And I believe these stairs are going to be five blocks wide. They're going to get a little narrower as we build up the podium. Here around front, we're building up the base for the statue here. And as you can see, it's done with cobblestone and diorite, according to this pattern here. And on these sides, we're putting in our first shrubbery bed over here. We're doing this and edging it out with some cobblestone stairs. And then in the middle, we're just putting grass and then shrub blocks, as you see done around here, of whichever material leaf block you want to use for your planting beds. And behind those, it's very simple. All you're doing with this phase is putting in a two block tall wall of cobblestone all the way around the sides and the back of the podium. Now, as we move to the next phase over here, you're building up your stairs again. This is going up in uh, three block flights of stairs here. And you're putting in some cobblestone around here, which you should have put in at the last phase. On top of that, you're putting in some stone bricks and then some cobblestone stairs. And you are doing that all the way around the sides and around the back here. And up top here, you're also going to want to lay out the grass or the dirt and have it spread as grass according to this pattern here. And the shrub beds for this in general are like two blocks wide, so you can use that as a measurement and just look at this and see what the measurements are going to be. Now the setback from here to here is, that looks like it's going to be six blocks. So you can use this as your measurement to get the grass blocks in the appropriate spaces over here. And around front for the base for the statue, you're just building that up two blocks higher than what you previously did, alternating the stone bricks and the cobblestone. Okay, next phase over here, you're doing the exact same thing again that I just described with the base for the statue. Back here, you're putting in some more shrub beds. We're also putting in wherever you want to have your bases for your trees here. This is what you need your oak trunks for, by the way. And you can put these in wherever you please. These are the places that I have chosen to put them. And all along the sides here, you then want to go along on top of your grass by the outer cobblestone stairs and leave a block gap here and put in a ring of shrubbery material all the way around the podium of the temple. It's also at this point back here, we step back four blocks from the top of the cobblestone stairs here. You then want to start adding these stairs, which is going to be the third flight of stairs to lead up to your temple. And behind that, you then want to put a band of cobblestone and stone bricks all the way around the podium of the temple here. All right, with that done, let's move on to the next phase over here. As you can see, we're beginning to finish the top of the base of the statue over here. And you're doing that by putting in a little bit more diorite. And then on top of that, you're putting cobblestone and upside down cobblestone stairs. Three on each side, arranged like you see done there. We're also beginning to build up these trees. And by the way, these tree designs 
every one of these trees is, is exactly the same design. So if I show you just one, then you will know how to build all the other ones. So on the bottom here, we're just starting off with a block on each of the four sides of the trees. So you would want to count up three blocks for your trunk and then start putting your leaves. And do this for all your trees. Over here, I have removed all of the leaf blocks. So on this side, they when we get up higher, they won't obscure the temple build. So I can show you that on both sides. Up here at the podium level for the temple up here, we're putting in a band of cobblestone stairs. And then you're just repeating this pattern you did down here. You're repeating it again up here with the shrub leaf blocks going all the way around the back and the sides, as you see done here. And behind those, you're also building up a bit of cobblestone, and then we're going to be putting some stone bricks on top of those in a second. Now let's take a look at the statue podium here. On top of the upside down stone bricks, you then want to, I mean, on top of the upside down cobblestone stairs, you want to put upside down stone bricks and a solid upside down uh, ledge or a lintel all the way around the base of the statue. And on top of that, you want to get your chiseled stone bricks and then lay them out according to this pattern here for the foundation of the soldier statue. Over here for these trees, you're coming up and you're pretty much on top of these. I'd better go over here and show you that. You're adding in a layer of leaves like this here. And then on top of that, you're doing this thing along here and then you're going to pretty much continue them up like this here with that there and this is going to be a modular segment that you're going to be repeating two or three times until we get up to the top so that can be a little extra clear because the leaves in my texture pack are kind of bushy so it might be a little hard to make out what's going on there now for the main podium for the temple, we are getting to the top level. That's what is represented by the diorite up here. So at this phase, your podium will be complete, and we will be just focusing on the temple, the statue, and the trees, pretty much. On the sides, you want to have a three-block wide thing over here that we're going to be putting our stone braziers on. And, of course, you want to leave a two-block setback. For the stairs again, you want to go up three blocks of cobblestone stairs. And along the side here, as I've said, you want to put in your stone bricks and then your cobblestone stairs on top of those. And arrange it according to this pattern here. And on the sides of those, you want to leave a three block wide band of grass. And fill the middle end complete with diorite. So I'll give you a good view of this. Pause here a moment so you can go back over the podium that you've been constructing and make sure you have everything laid out correctly. Take a look at the back around here also. And a, a fun fact, this is one of the things that separates this building from a Greek temple, meaning that one of the things the Romans did was they would put their temples high up on podiums like this and they would have a frontward facade facing and generally they would have pilasters attached to the walls which you're going to see fairly shortly over here and also they would have the stairs just on one side whereas Greek temples would have stairs on all the four sides so you could approach that from any angle but the Romans always wanted to control your view of the temple and set up grand vistas. So this is why they did that. Okay, a history lesson over. We are moving on here to the next phase. Over here we have the base of our soldier statue. All you're doing for this is you're going up and you're putting some stone brick stairs directly on top of the chiseled stone bricks and then you're putting in some 
stairs here, and then full stone brick blocks and a block of diorite here for the sword. So I'll give you a view of this here so you can see what's going on. The soldier statue, by the way, it's sitting, it's sitting on the center line around here, so that means it's going to be symmetrical on both sides, like I explained earlier. And this is also where you put your block of glowstone. All right, with that done, you're building the trees up over here, like I explained to you with the repeating module and everything. Uh, it looks like on this I actually left a block gap every every two blocks over here. So we'll probably go up a block and then leave another gap up there. And it's also at this point we're building in our stone braziers. Now I've used netherrack because I play with fire tick off, but I imagine if you're doing this in survival, this is where you put, well, down here is where you want to put your campfire on either side, and you can have the, the smoke going up on either side like that. To build the braziers, it's just upside down stone brick stairs, and then just smooth stone slabs on top of those, as you see done here. And along the side here, we're putting in the last of the shrubbery at this phase. You want to arrange it out like you see done here on both sides, and we're also spacing out the trees for this phase also. It looks like there's four blocks and then a tree, and then five blocks, and then another tree, and the tree back here will also be four blocks spacing from the back there. Now let's see, we've covered the trees and the statues, so let's focus on the temple. At this point, we're laying in the foundations for our diorite pillars, which are going to go right here. And all of these uh, column designs are exactly the same, so you just want to make a sort of a 3x3 three three cross shape of cobblestone, and then put stone brick stairs facing in, like you see done here, with a block gap in between all of those. And then behind those over here, you want to do the exact same. And there's a little detail back here for the door as well. So I will go around here and give you a slow view of this. And if you need to, just pause the video and replicate the patterns that you see on your screen. And you can also do the interior at this point as well. And a view from the top around here. As you can see, it's uh, fairly modular with repeating patterns. So once you do one of those, you will see how to do the rest of them. Now moving on to the next phase, let's take a look at the statue again. We got a bit more diorite out here for the sword. We've got some cobblestone stairs and also a bit of black stone and red nether brick for the back cape around here as well. The trees over here are going up with their repeating pattern. Looks like I definitely did leave uh, air gaps there that I didn't describe earlier. And this tree here is also the same design as these trees here. And the ones on the side are going to be the same as well. So now that I've told you the trees are all the same, I'm not going to remark on those again directly. I'm just going to show you one example as we move along. At this point, you're putting in the diorite column drums for the temple. You're putting them on top of the bases that we built in the last phase. I'm also putting in a little detail over here, a little ledge for the door. And on the inside here, you're putting in some pilasters attached to the wall here. And around the side over here, as you can see, you're pretty much just building up uh, diorite and cobblestone in this phase for the walls around the front and the back and build it out according to this pattern here. 
All right, let's move on to the next phase over here. Let's take a look at the statue again. We got another two block segment here, so I will focus on that. We've got some upside down and right side up black stone stairs, a bit more diorite. And another detail around here for the cape and the back of the statue. Around here, we've got the trees again. Done like this. And over here, you're extending up the walls again with more diorite, except this time you're layering in a layer of stone bricks and then cobblestone. And you're extending up the diorite uh, column drums all the way around. And here is the front detail for the door. You're using just a couple of slabs here to make a little uh, small triangular pediment over your door, as you see done here. And on the sides here and the back. And let's take a look at the interior here. You're putting an upside down stone brick ledge at this level in as well. You can also hide some torches up here if you so please. And then you're continuing up your diorite again. As you see done here. Moving on to the next phase, we have the statue again. We're building out the arms now. We have some full blocks of black stone here with a little detail of red nether brick and some slabs and some stairs and some more slabs and stairs and everything around this side here. So I'm just going to let you look at this. And do your best to replicate the pattern. Not that complicated. The first trees are almost done. I think with another block up here, the full tree model will be done. So for the tops of these, we have this three block thing here, and then a one block, and then it's going to go up another block after that. And that will finish off our pointy Roman uh, cypress trees. On the temple over here, you're going up again with a bit more diorite. You're doing the walls with an alternating band of cobblestone and then stone bricks all around the sides here. And you're going up exactly the same on the inside as well. Now, moving on, the statue over here, we're building out the uh, chest area you can see done here and we have finished the sword pretty much at this phase here also and you're building out the arms over here with cobblestone stairs and the detail of the cape back here on the back done as you can see there and to get the shoulders in the chest area you're just pretty much putting in some right side up stairs on top of the cobblestone. There's also some upside down cobblestone stairs in that block there. Now, moving on to the temple itself, we're now putting in our fine Corinthian capitals on this phase. And we're doing this by upside down cobblestone stairs and upside down stone brick stairs. And, of course, all the pillars on the outside have exactly the same column design. You can see they attach to the wall over here. And when uh, freestanding columns are attached to walls like this, they are called pilasters. And around the back, as you see done here. And indeed, on this temple, we only have the front four freestanding columns because this is another Roman characteristic, as I've said. Um, Roman buildings usually have a, f the front facade is always the nicest one, and when they wanted to save money, they would attach the columns to the wall around the back. And that's why the back here looks rather plain and undecorated, and everything is designed to be viewed and accessed from the front around here. 
a very Roman characteristic. Another thing the Romans like to do is spend all their money on the interior, which is why we have the nice barrel vault in here as well. You can see, and you're just doing that by stepping in some uh, cobblestone and diorite, as you see done here at this level. Going along over here, we're now putting in the head of our Roman statue. And we're doing this with some upside down cobblestone stairs, a full block, and some more stairs around back here as well. And this is the, the back part of the Roman headdress for the helmet that we're putting in at this point here. So I'll give you a good 360 view of that. And we will move on to the temple. Now, so at this point, we're adding in the entablature for the temple. That is what this thing here is called. This is the transition between the colonnade down here and the pointy uh, triangular pediment on the top here. It's called the entablature. And whenever you're building a Roman temple, you have to make sure that you build one. Because you can always tell people in Minecraft that don't know their Roman architecture because they will invariably leave out the entablature. And here is the underside of this as well. I have chosen to put in chiseled stone bricks in my texture pack. I sort of ripped the texture from the lodestone because I liked it so much. But you want to build the pattern out according to what you see done here. And on the inside, we will also be capping off the barrel vault at the top, as you see done there, with just a bit more diorite and cobblestone. And we'll take a look at that from the top. And I have filled in the roof solid with cobblestone, by the way, from this point on. So all we should have to focus on is, I think we finished the statue on this phase over here. So I'll just give you a good look at this. This should be pretty explanatory. We're just putting in the headdress like that there and some stairs facing apart from each other. As you see done here, and that gives us our distinctively Roman soldier statue. Over here, we're now building out the pointy pediment. And we're doing this by building out on these sides here, the frames for the front with some chiseled stone bricks with some cobblestone walls on top of those. Then we have a full block and a full block, and in between those you want to put a bottom slab and a top slab of stone bricks, as you see done here. And behind those, some more diorite. Of course, that is the same on the back. And the sides around here, every so often you want to add these details along the side here as well. It's what you did for the front here, except you want to count back four blocks and then do one, and then here in the middle it's uh, five blocks, then five blocks, and then four more blocks. And in the middle of those, just underneath it, fill it in with solid cobblestone, as you see that I have done here. And for the roof, you're just starting out with your black stone slabs, your red nether brick, black stone slabs, red nether brick, as you see done here. All right, moving on. We have finished our statue, as I said, on the last phase. We're finished with the trees, so all we have to do is very quickly finish off the pointy part of the roof up here, the, the pediment area, and finishing off the front the same as the back. And you pretty much just continue the pattern straight up that I showed you on the roof. And you want to have a ridge of stone bricks going around the middle. And then on top of that, you want to put another bit of chiseled stone bricks, another cobblestone wall. And then on the top of that, every other block, you want to put in some cobblestone slabs layered out as you see done here. So then at this part, your small Roman temple will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the small Roman temple. I want to do a small version of these because I have larger ones, but it occurred to me that some of you really just may want a small Roman temple, so I have made this design and I'm putting it out there for your consideration. And if you want to see more Roman building tutorials, please consider subscribing. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.